There we go. Whoa, that was close. Truth be told, I'm at fault for that one. All the stuff is your responsibility. You know, you're liable when things go bad. What's good? Mike's in the building. Welcome to another video, boys. There we go. Those tire snakes are freaking tricky as hell, boy. Not sure what I'm up to today, but um, it's a free day, man. I like to call them free days, really. I figured I'd go out there and try to get some rear brake practice. Just overall, just familiarizing myself with everything. Um, I know I've been doing that for the past bit, but um, it never hurts, even though you know how to do something for you to, you know, make it like everything. So this is the usual uh, beginner spot. A lot of people that are starting to ride learning, they come out here. So I always make a little pass here to see who's out and see who can I catch. That's up and about. Ah, uh, man, I'll probably pass the other way back because um, I do like that route better. Let that car go ahead of me. Maybe he's going to the supermarket. Nobody's here. It's very early, by the way, but all good. There we go. If I can't find anybody that's out and riding, what I'll do is I'll hit my regular wheelie spot and uh, let's do some practice runs, you know. There we go. I don't know what we're looking for. These are not balanced. I'm getting very close to balance point, but figured I uh give it a shot. Slow wheelies. Those are great to practice like uh, rear brake on first. It's really getting that body position right, you know. Just, just really hitting everything right, always to the T, you know, at all times. You want to make sure you got that lock at all times, not having to worry about it. I was hitting the, the clutch, you know. There we go. Now we're starting to hit some good wheelies and uh, Oh, that was close. That was way too close. Holy shit. Wow. Why did they let him in? That would have been like awful. Everybody out here in Long Island does this all the time. They let people in like right in between. Traffic, always bad.
Oh my god, that was freaking crazy. Good save though. That split in between's always bad. Come on, my guy. Beautiful day out, though. We'll take it. Let's see if we have anybody else that's uh, rolling around this area. We usually have a couple of Ducati riders out in this little section. Let's go take a look. See who's out there. But every now and then you'll bump into a couple of riders that are just kind of doing that early morning ride, early morning like practice or whatever. So I always hit these little areas first. And then if nothing kind of pans out, then I'll hit my little uh, practice area. This area would be good to practice too, but there's a little bit of dirt and stuff here. Actually, there's very little people here. But since we're close to the water, there's a lot of people here. People are more likely to call the cops, man. And make it a big deal where it doesn't have to be kind of thing. I usually practice around two times throughout the day. Say in the morning where it's quiet. And then I also do like nights. Nights tend to be really good because nobody's in the parking lots. And you get less uh, issues or less frequent. Let's check on this area. There's a couple of Ducatistas that I usually see here too. So. In reference though, to be fair of that near miss, that's... Hold on. Hold on, Steve, one second. Yeah, what up? So a good friend of mine just gave me a call, chatted up with him for a little bit. And then now I'm gonna head to the wheelie spot. But more importantly, let's talk about what just happened, man. You know, I wasn't gonna upload the video because I'm not a big fan of uploading those kind of videos where bad things are happening. Like that near miss, you know, almost crash. You know, at first I was like, oh, why did they let this person in the middle of the traffic? And, um, you know, it didn't take me too long, man. About like four minutes of riding right here in the neighborhood. The realization here, the truth be told, I'm at fault for that one. I'm completely at fault. And uh, might as well use the video as a learning experience or a teachable moment. You know, you get on your bike, you're excited, um, you're riding, and uh, doing wheelies in the street. Again, those are not, you know, legal. So again, this is another, this is another point against me for that. And I'll have to own that. Yeah, I'll have to own the fact that that was my mistake, so. The thing here is, even though they let a driver in between traffic to go in, you know, in, it's still my responsibility, you know, for one, not to have done the wheelie out there, two, two, should have been more cautious, and in the end, the third and last and final point, when you're doing wheelies, Always, always wait till it's completely empty, nothing's going on, and nothing's behind you. So, you know, all those are your responsibility. See, somebody's turning there. Again, all this stuff is your responsibility. 
you know, you're liable when things go bad. That's one of the things that I did say to myself, you know, I bought the bike for wheelies and for doing stuff like this, and I gotta be responsible and be liable for my own actions, so. Make this a learning experience for other people that's watching my channel. Don't let the excitement overtake being in control. But I'm gonna say though, doing wheelies is very intoxicating, it's very addicting. Whenever you get an opportunity, you just wanna kinda crack one open, so, you know. So take it with a grain of salt, guys. Do this stuff at your own risk and, and know what can happen. So learn from my mistake and I'm gonna learn from my mistake as well. from uh, doing these wheelies kind of randomly around. So. So we're gonna hit up our little wheelie spot and practice there since we didn't have anybody just pending around waiting to ride. But I had to kind of throw on these words and really reflect on this really quickly. And uh, admit that it was my fault and it was my mistake and I should, you know, learn from it and, and know, know better for next time. The other thing that's very important, <laughs> something else that's very important, just because you know how to ride, you know how to wheelie, doesn't mean you shouldn't practice basics. Meaning, having the fundamentals to know how to maneuver the bike really quickly, really slowly, really fastly, abruptly, I mean not fastly, gives you an edge, right? So in the case of that, near miss or near crash, if I wasn't keen on what I was doing or riding really well or react really quickly as well with the rear brake and everything else, you know, it would have ended badly as well. So there's a lot to learn, there's a lot to take away from it, man. Just be careful, be mindful, and um, I will do the same. So, totally on me, and I accept that, that it was. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. You got something out of that one. <laughs> because it's definitely a learning area for everybody, even for me. Enjoy. Catch you guys on the next video, man.